Wes here with Above and Beyond Vehicle Beyond Reconditioning. I've been asked a lot by my customers here recently, what is body liner? Is it paint? Is it bed liner? Is it something you put over the top of the paint? What is it? What's it do? So I figured I'd make a video to help clear up some of those questions in more terms that some people can understand better. Um, what I did, I got this hood, it's a, just a damaged hood that I picked up, and sectioned it into four sections. I left this section right here in the front middle, stock Chrysler paint. It's off a of Jeep, so Chrysler Black PX8, um, put PPF, paint protection film, just a clear plastic film, right back here. Over here is smooth body liner. And over here is textured body liner. There's two more levels of body liner. You can go ultra smooth or show liner, but these are where most people land, especially in the truck and the Jeep market for the thickness and level of protection that they offer. Speaking of thickness, uh, Chrysler paint is actually one of the thicker paints out there, uh, usually around 170 microns thick. Um, depth gauge right here to kind of justify that. Uh, 177 microns right there in the middle. I usually take a couple different readings to get an average, 178. So real consistent, 185. Paint protection film, that'll get you close to double the thickness and protection. 305, 299, real consistent. Um, the smooth liner, a lot more thick thickness protection level um, you can tell depending on how good the camera can see the finish of it you're not going to get as smooth you can get really close to as smooth as stock paint with uh, ultra smooth or show liner but it all depends on the application what you're wanting to do with it the thickness of the smooth liner 483 so you can do the math 175 versus the PPF 483 uh, take a couple different readings here 498 481 I would show you but the camera ain't gonna be able to read this um, now the textured liner is a fair amount thicker than the smooth liner obviously 668 494 so 609 it depends on where the little sensor in here takes a reading, whether it's a low spot or a high spot, but you can get the idea of the consistent fourth, 639, 786, a lot more protection. Just a lot more than PPF, obviously the stock paint, smooth paint, um, but it just depends on the finish you're looking for. This truck's a 2005, 190,000 miles pretty much all original paint you can imagine what wear and tear it takes um, rock chips are probably the most notorious long-term small damages to vehicles if you look here on the front end of the truck you've got small chips you know you get that up here on the a pillar you get rock chips there the biggest area is down here on the rockers bottoms of the doors you can see it takes its toll so body liner that's probably one of the most common things you can do for protection is respray the bottom half of the truck to guard against rock chips you can take it a step further and as far as like the customization level you can body match your mirrors door handles door spear moldings you could we could color match your nerf bars tube steps wheel flares we can even do a two-tone if you like the smooth outer we can do a smooth outer textured inner um, the body liner will stick to virtually anything if you're not a fan of chrome you can take your stock grill we can color match the grill bug deflector uh, plastic chrome even tow hooks we can color match virtually anything if that's the look you're going for or if you just want the protection we can 
do either the smooth or a textured on the bottom and it looks inconspicuous but it's going to last a lot longer than your stock paint chipping up so get to the demonstration portion of this um, i'm going to take a couple different ways to do somewhat real world and somewhat extreme world testing of the durability of this hood again you've got your stock paint ppf textured body liner and smooth body liner so we're gonna cut to another section of the parking lot here and i'm gonna do a good lengthy demonstration on the durability testing on these four products so here we are with the testing phase this is the most real world i can think to be able to test this hood that i've got against rock chips so step one or phase one would be standard old limestone driveway rocks and a slingshot Okay, we will try this a little more consistently, just in case you have doubts on the size of the rock. Uh, the only variable that I can't control is how far I pull my arm back on each one, and I'll try to be, try be consistent, but these are slingshot ammunition. So to summarize what we've just experimented with, the damage from the slingshot was honestly a lot more severe than what I anticipated, but I'm doing this with the video as experimenting with it myself. Um, you can see all the spots here. We'll go over the OEM paint first. What you can obviously see is most noticeable, if, depending on how well the camera picks it up, the two spots of damage from the rock, the BB, marble, whatever you want to call it, and a bunch of little chips. Well, depending on how we edit the video, the hood actually fell over while we were setting it up to demonstrate throwing rocks at it with a mower deck. And you can see a lot of the tiny little chips just from this hood getting blown over by the wind. So, and you can look at that and tell the stock paint actually took a lot of tiny little chips as damage. The PPF fared better, but if you run your hand across it, you can still feel all the marring and high spots where the film is actually flaking up. Um, I might actually pull this film off here and see what damage that did to there from that nasty rock hit. So stock paint, PPF, we know how those fared. The smooth body liner, you can see the two impact marks from the rock. It did mar the finish a little bit. Uh, virtually no damage. Uh, you can kind of see here where the hood fell, but there's definitely not the marring that there is to the stock paint. Go over here to the textured body liner. There is conceivably no damage from where the hood fell over, actually three times, honestly, um, getting blown over in the wind while we were setting this up. Uh, the BB, marble, whatever you want to call it, a tiny dent, but virtually no damage. Uh, you can get a PDR guy to stop by and pop that out and you would be seamlessly gone. Uh, you can see where that large rock did mar it, three little spots. Again, you can touch this up just like paint, just like bed liner, um, if you're worried about the cosmetic looks of it. Otherwise, that obviously fared a lot better than PPF stock paint and the smooth body liner. So, um, let's just quick peel this body of this uh, PPF off, just for fun, just because this is what this hood is for, is for experimenting. And there you can see the tiny little tears from just it falling over, but it's actually relatively unscathed underneath from just those little chips from it, the hood falling over in the wind. Ooh, but you look underneath the PPF and that took paint clear out of there and obviously 
at least three little dents. So PPF does help overstock paint, but it is not the same as body liner texture or smooth. So in closing, you can draw your own conclusion on the protection aspects of body liner, paint protection film, obviously over stock paint. Um, any questions, you can reach out to me. We've got the body liner Facebook page, body liner website, uh, above and beyond vehicle reconditioning website and Facebook page. Um, so feel free to ask us any questions and we'll answer them the best we can. Thank you.